doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. How can I help you today? I need $1,000 and $1 bills. Hey there. Good morning. Welcome to Joe Does Stuff. And it is Thursday morning after 9 o'clock in the morning as I begin this. And I got the big camera out today. It's a special occasion, that's for sure. So, if you're new here, because I kind of feel like this type of a video could bring in some new eyes. Uh, my name is Joe. I served seven years in prison. I've got another YouTube channel called After Prison Show. And I was very successful in, in YouTube. Uh, since then, I started a couple of different business ventures, cleaning service, painting business, moving company, moped rental service. Everything that I ever tried to do outside of YouTube pretty much failed. My latest business venture is painting and renovations, and I've been doing that for three years now, and it's basically bled me dry because I don't know how to run a business. So that brings us here to Joe Does Stuff, where I share that type of stuff over here on After Prison Show. I share mostly about prison stuff. There was a point in my time after prison, because of after prison show, when I was pretty successful. I did a lot to try to help a lot of people over the course of the years. Uh, all of that is documented over on that channel. Well, fast forward to the current situation where I am right now, and I am down bad. Uh, business is not good. Money is scarce. Could potentially lose my house could potentially lose my truck or at least have to get rid of these things because you know it's time to really start hunkering down so to speak but anyways in the midst of all of that i just recently started getting parking tickets on my truck uh, in front of my house we have street parking in front of my house which is public parking and within the last 10 days i've received three parking tickets because my tags are expired on my truck now i can't renew my tags because i owe the city that i live in a lot of money in personal property tax and let me go ahead and talk about personal property tax real quick for anybody who may not know you've got real estate personal property tax and then you also have vehicle personal property tax now from what i've read not every state does personal property tax especially for a vehicle or a boat or an rv trailer motorcycle something like that i may be wrong about this but i believe not every state even has personal property tax on a house but what i did read was every state does have personal property tax on a house if you're an investor so I may be wrong about that part, but I do know for a fact that there are only 26 states. Actually, I don't even know this for a fact. This is just what I read on the internet. I read that there's 26 states in the country that do personal property tax on vehicles. And of those 26 states, the state that I live in, Virginia, is of course the highest. And of course, the city that I live in, which is a very slum ridden city probably top of the charts in terms of violence in our state uh, if it's not the top it's damn close to the top and this city has the highest personal property tax on vehicles or one of the highest the highest in my locale for sure uh, so i share all of that with you because just to give you a little information on personal property tax and also my personal situation now i don't know where this personal property tax actually goes to you would imagine that it goes to schools and roads and things like that but i gotta imagine that it probably doesn't and it probably just goes to lining the pockets of city officials and you know to paint the picture a little more vividly for you my city officials are some of the most corrupt hands down we've gone through uh like four or five city managers in the last couple of years there's been stories of missing money and inappropriated funds and just all sorts of wild ass shit we're also the only city in my area that has a casino which is bringing in you know upwards of 20 million dollars a month or you know maybe 12 somewhere between 12 and 20 million dollars a month and the city gets a piece of that action as well. You would have imagined when the casino came in, which just came in recently, that the personal property tax would have been one of the things that would have been lessened a little bit. But of course not, because 
All this city cares about is lining pockets, if you let me tell it. So again, just wanted to share a little bit of information about the current situation that I find myself in. Well, again, getting these parking tickets in, you know, just yesterday, I would attempt to go set up a payment plan on my personal property tax because I know I haven't paid it in a couple of years. Hey, we just went through the pandemic. Hey, I was trying not to lose my house. Hey, I had more important things to worry about than paying this city any more money. Obviously, you know, it's a responsibility. It's something that I have to pay. I didn't pay it. I didn't care. Well, now I've got to pay it because they are messing with my vehicles every day getting a parking ticket. That's $25 a day. That's more expensive than short-term parking at the freaking airport, for God's sakes. I'd be better off going and parking my truck there. Uh, but I wanna share with you a little bit more on personal property tax. So when I went to go set up the payment plan yesterday, they wouldn't let me do so. In fact, they told me I had to pay the amount in full uh, and that was all there was gonna be to it. So when they wouldn't set up the payment plan, I said, well, how much money do I owe? And they gave me this right here, which is the grand total. And that folks is $5,491, I believe in 33 cents. Yeah. $5,491.33. That's what they expected me to pay yesterday. Like I was just gonna magically make this money appear out of thin air. They printed off everything that I owe this money for. And let me just give you a couple of examples. I had a Dodge Ram pickup truck that was a 2008. Uh, for the year, they are wanting $277 for that vehicle. A Hyundai Santa Fe, this was brand new when I bought it. This is only for a partial year. Uh, that was $344, and then for a full year on it, it was $967, and then my work van, they want $300 for the year for that. And then let's go to my truck that I'm getting the tickets for. So for one year, they're wanting $875. For another year, they're wanting uh, $1,263. And for another year, they're wanting $1,069. So all of this comes up to a grand total of $5,500, give or take a few bucks. I can't do a damn thing about this because I don't have the money to pay this in full. And I was fully expecting to be able to go set up a payment plan on this because I was made to believe that I could. Somebody actually let me know that I could based on the information of another city. Well, it turns out my city said that that's not gonna happen. Now, let me share just a little bit more about that. So again, an awesome person who rocks with me on social media sent me information out of Virginia Beach that said, you know, you can set up a payment plan if you owe uh, back personal property tax, whatever. Hey, I figured it would be the same in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia. But when I went there, they told me they weren't doing that. We're not setting up a payment plan. We need the money in full. They even told me that one person told me, uh, yeah, you can make a payment, but it's not a payment plan. Okay, whatever. Then when I talked to the deputy uh, city treasurer, they said, no, we're not even taking a payment. But I'm on the city's website right here, right? This is the city that I live in. And one of the questions that they ask right here is, what if I'm unable to pay my tax bill in full by the due date? And the answer to that is right there. And that says, visit or contact the treasurer's office. I did that yesterday. Uh, they will work with you and set up a payment agreement for paying your taxes within a reasonable period of time. An agreement will not relieve the penalties and interest, but may delay any legal collections. I didn't even know they could send this shit to collections. I haven't paid this shit in three years. They haven't sent anything to collections. Forget all of that. They're saying that I can set up a payment plan here. So I'm gonna share this information with them when I go back there today because that's what all of this is about. I just need to give you guys a little more information on this entire situation for anybody who doesn't know what personal property tax are because as I've been sharing about this, there have been plenty of people who say, what do you mean you have to pay you know, additional taxes on your vehicle? 
And it's crazy to think I've got to pay these taxes just to be able to park my truck in front of my house. Now, I got to hurry up and leave because the police, every single day, they are actively coming down my street and giving me a parking ticket. Like I said, in the last 10 days, I've received three parking tickets. That's 75 bucks already. So here's the deal. Here's the situation that I find myself in right now. I can't do nothing except try to pay this. I certainly cannot pay this amount in full. I'm going to attempt to try to make a couple of chunk payments toward this, but I don't even know like how quickly I'm going to be able to, to make these payments. I live stream as well, not only film videos. And yesterday I was doing a live stream on my other YouTube channel, After Prison Show, and the people who watch these streams and who watch these videos, they really rock with me. And I had some amazing donations come in. In fact, by the end of the stream, I had over $1,000. It was like $1,004 in donations. And all of those people were donating because they wanted to try to help me with this situation. I hate to think that, you know, people are paying my bills for me. I'm a grown ass man and all of that, but I do social media and, you know, so I am a little conflicted in regards to that, but hey, let me let you know, I'm down bad right now and me live streaming ain't a far stretch from me holding up a sign on the side of the road at this point. I don't know which one would have, you know, more dignity involved in it. But anyways, because of these awesome donations that came through yesterday, you know, and to give you an example of some of those donations, this person right here, Kool-Aid Tanner, donated 500 pounds, which equates to like 650 or 75 US dollars. Like that is a crazy donation to receive right there. This person said, Joe, you're the man. None of the non-originals got shit on you. You are the prison YouTube OG and we effing love you. Keep on trucking. For that person and for this person right here, Amazing3DG, who donated $200, you know, go up in there tomorrow and make it rain with $1,001 bills just like you got off the stripper pole, Joe. Kool-Aid Tanner, Amazing3DG, Adam, Dale, uh, veteran vapor, like the the list goes on of people who contributed to trying to help me out of this hole. And for those folks especially, and because it was amazing 3DG specifically, who even gave me the idea, I have got, sorry, I'm out there looking at my truck right now and just hoping that it's okay. For those people and so many more, I've got, I've got to do the right thing. Not only do I have to go pay this ridiculous tax bill, or at least attempt to do so, folks, I have to do so in a way that lives up to the Joe Does Stuff, Joe from After Prison Show type of way. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to the bank right now. We are gonna go withdraw $1,001 bills and we're going to City Hall. We're gonna go make it rain on them with $1,001 bills. I don't even know what $1,001 bills looks like. I know it's gonna be big. I know it's gonna look like a lot of money. And I, I worry a little bit about how this is gonna go and the biggest thing that I worry about is me leaving this place in handcuffs. I got to be honest with you, my first dealing with City Hall yesterday in the Treasurer's Department was not good. To put it into perspective, I dealt with the first lady who told me that I couldn't set up a payment plan and that I could make a payment, but that wasn't a payment plan. I asked to speak to somebody else. She got me the Deputy Treasurer and that lady said that you can't even make a payment. We need it in full. I said, what do you, you know, what do I do? I'm getting parking tickets in front of my house every day. I said, you're not letting me set up a payment plan. I asked her, I said, what would you do if you were me? And this lady blatantly said to me, I ain't you. I paid my taxes. <laughs> I ain't got to think about that. Uh, you know, so she was sitting there frying me. So I want to, for me to pay off this obligation, she is the only person that I want to deal with. And of course, when I go up in here, I'm going to try to film the whole damn thing. So, wanted to share all of that. That's how we begin today. From here, it's to the bank. 
and then it's the city hall. Do y'all remember that video of that guy that went into maybe the post office or somewhere with a wheelbarrow full of pennies? I so want to make a 2024 version of that. And I'm hoping that with these $1 bills and city hall and personal property tax on a vehicle, we can kind of do that. So over under, how do you think this is about to go? I'll just go ahead and give you my prediction that it's going to go not so good. Uh, so a couple of thoughts that I had after sharing the information that I did with you and how even on the website it says that they will set up a payment plan. Even if they did set up the payment plan, I don't think that's going to make, make it possible for me to be able to go get my tags corrected until all pay, all money is received in full that I owe, again, that $5,500. And one thing that the lady said to me yesterday was once the stops are put in, which I didn't understand what that meant at first, but she said once the stops are put in, there's nothing that you can do to take them off until you pay the money in full. So again, a payment plan really doesn't even matter. So I was doing a live stream yesterday, and one of the things that I said in terms of like an idea to try to not deal with this and kind of a thing that maybe I had done in the past. I don't think I did this in the past because it wouldn't have mattered. I would have still had to get it corrected. But I remember from the past that anytime that I had personal property tax outstanding, when I went and bought and sold a car, the only way that that affected it was by me not being able to get permanent plates. All I could get were 30 day tags. And I was saying, hey, you know, I could sell my truck, go get a hoopty or something like that, and just get 30 day tags and just continuously get those renewed. But I think it's different now because again, when I was reading that information, the word stops came up in that. And they said, once the stops go in, you can't even register a via. While filming about this yesterday, I said, how crazy is it that I am down so bad, business is bad, you know, I'm getting to a point where I can't, I'm living well, way above my means. You know, at one point business was good and it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, now it's not the same. I said, you know, I could sell my truck and how crazy would it be if I was running a business, riding a scooter? But the damnedest thing about it, I couldn't even go register a scooter right now, a moped, because these stops. So I got to get this tax debt up off of me and we're gonna attempt to do that here today. So again, first stop is the bank. Let's go get $1,000 in ones. This is gonna be a lot of money. I don't even got nothing to put it in. I thought about bringing like a little duffel bag, maybe a briefcase. If I slid the briefcase across, pop that thing open. Oh, that'll look really good. But I also don't have nobody to film this for me. I gotta film it by myself, which is, you know, gonna, not be so easy, but mark my words, we filming this. Hello, how are you? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing great, how can I help you today? I need $1,000 and one dollar bills. Oh, let me see if I have that. And you Yeah, I called earlier. You did? Yes, ma'am. Appreciate that. I gotta go. I gotta go pay a bill with that. Okay. Really? Yes, ma'am. I'm paying. I'm paying them one thousand dollars in one dollar bills. It's a bill that I'm not. I'm not You're happy. Not excited about that, right? <laughs> no, ma'am. Oh my god. The look on that face is gonna be priceless. That's why I'm gonna film it. You want to? <laughs> that looks like a whole lot of. And they're fresh at that point. They, they, they're going to think it ain't even real. Hmm. And then watch what they're going to tell me. They're going to tell me, oh, we don't take gas. All right. There you are. Look at that. Wow. You do Gosh, it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Appreciate y'all. You're welcome. Enjoy your day. Go around. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Y'all as well. I ought to be real careful 
in this area. I'm in a very bad area. And uh, boy, that's a lot of money to be carrying right there. Gosh almighty. All ones. Well, they got a kick out of it. I didn't think they were going to be too pleasant about it, but they were actually quite helpful. So shout out to them. Nice people right there, boy. Hey, you ever had a brick of cash? Real money in the hood because that's exactly where I'm at right now. God bless it. I want to open this up. I want to look at it. I want to do a whole lot of stuff. And let me get up out of here because I got a car pulling in right beside me. Let me get up out of here. It's looking a little wild for me over here. All right, I got to get going, man. This is where the Jack Boys come into play at. And Joe ain't got time for it. Hey, it's all ones. It's all ones. They probably thought I was going to the strip club right there. So I called ahead to make sure that they had that. Uh, there was only one teller in there as well. And, you know, I didn't want to be a burden or an inconvenience, but it's my money. You know, I can, I should be able to get it any way that I want to. And again, they were very nice about that. But man, hey, this right here. Oh shit, let me put this down, man. Somebody see this. So, okay, you got, I'm guessing that each one of these bands is just a hundred dollars. They told me the bills are fresh too. They're not even gonna believe that this shit is real. But I got the video of me being in the bank, so if I gotta play that back for them. Do you think that they're gonna accept this? There ain't no way in hell, man. Hey, at least it's, at least it is all banned up though, right? I ain't never done no wild ass shit like this. It's been a long time, that's for damn sure. Gosh, I'm like, man. I wonder if there's any dye packs in this. They had to literally go get this out of the safe. Oh boy. Hey, yo, yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, the money's calling right now. <laughs> shit. Sad thing about it is it ain't even my damn money. I gotta go pay it to a damn city for some personal property tax. And the sad thing about all that right there, man, there's a car right behind me, so I feel so crazy. The sad thing about that right there is, is that's not even a fifth of what I owe them. Hey, have you ever seen a thousand dollars in one dollar bills? It looks like this. <laughs> I literally have this to go pay a bill. So when I go up into City Hall and I've got this tucked up under my shirt, they're gonna think I got a gun when I pull this out. It's gonna be like that, uh, that it's not a meme, the videos that those people do when they're like trying to act like they're pulling a gun on the police, but really they're just pulling out their ID. If you got to pay something that you don't want to pay and they've been, and you know, who you have to pay has been of absolutely zero help to you. Well, forget about it. You be of zero help to them as well. Okay. Hope you got a money counter because we're going to be in here all day with this. Oh, we got to count it twice. When I brought $8,000 to a court to pay a, a fine back when I was successful in social media, um, and that, that wasn't even in $1 bills. It was about this big, though. It was in, like, 5s and 10s and 20s. All right, sorry, there was a phone call coming in, and I had to take that. But I'm about to be at City Hall right now. So what I, I have is a little shopping grocery bag that I think I'm going to put this money up in. All right. Oh, those are those ink pens that I was looking for. Crazy, crazy to think. Hey, and I literally think that I just saw the unmarked cop car go by where the, um, the parking authority person. How crazy would it be if I came out and I had a freaking parking ticket? All right. So let's go ahead and open this up. Little unboxing right here. I ain't never opened up no crazy shit like this. Oh, man, look at that. That is insane to me. Oh, gosh. Almighty. Oh, my God. It smells so good. These are like brand new ones. Oh, God, that smells good. You know, money usually has like a, a really distinct smell to it. And this shit definitely, definitely does. So it's all banded up like that. Let's go ahead and open it like this. 
How crazy would it be if I got jacked before I went up in here? So here is one band right here. And we are guessing that this, yep, it says $100 right there. Oh shit, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna mess it all up. Gosh, oh my. All right, let me try to get situated here. So I, I need to be discreet carrying this up in there. And uh, here is the bill for, uh, if you can read that, Fifty-four ninety-one thirty-three. That's what I owe in total. Car just pulled up right behind me, and I got to get me some pictures with this. Okay, this is crazy, man. I feel like I legit just robbed the bank. I know it's just one dollar bills, but the smell just—I've never held. I don't rarely hold a whole lot of cash, but that's a lot of cash to be holding. What if I just walked in with this, right? Just walked in, boom. Hey. Yeah, hey, hey, hold on. I'm on the phone right now. <laughs> I just feel, I feel crazy with this. Let's go pay it all in once. There's a nice little thumbnail. Yeah, I see you, Jack boy. See you looking. All right, let's get some more footage of this. He's busting a U-turn, too. Keep the camera rolling. Yeah, he's going around the block on me. All right, um, you think they're going to accept this? Is this a little too extreme right here? <laughs> oh, God. Joe, you better hurry up and do something, boy, before somebody pull up on you. And I'm in a, I'm in a bad area. All right, let me cover that up right there. Let me get my phone so that I can grab it right there because I'm going out on that side. They're never going to accept this. They're, they're, there's no way in hell. They're never going to take this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to make a payment on my personal property tax. All right. Let's bag this shit up. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with... We're gonna put one piece of paper at the bottom of the bag. We're gonna put all the cash in the middle and then we're gonna cover it up. And all of this are my tax bills. So that's really fitting right there as well. Yeah, pretty discreet. All right, let's go see how this goes. Hey City Hall, I'm back. Hey, is the deputy treasurer in? We're all deputy treasurer. Who are you looking for? Oh, there was a woman that I spoke to yesterday. I can't remember her name. Is it personal property taxes, real estate? Yes, ma'am. Personal property tax. Okay. What's the last name? Uh, Guerrero. Guerrero? Okay. I was trying to set up a payment plan. They'll probably remember who I was. Pardon me? Perfect. Appreciate it. Cool, I get to talk to the same person from yesterday. I like that. Uh, that guy right there. Here we go. Here she is. Our sweetheart. Yes, indeed. Hey. Hello. I'm back again. So, I know you said that I couldn't set up a payment plan. Right. I was looking on the website under the frequently asked questions and it said that I could set up a payment plan. Current taxes. Okay. Yeah. Am I able to make a payment at all? Yeah, sure. You can make any kind of payment whenever you could, whenever you can. You would just not be officially be under a payment arrangement. Okay, that's fine. Um, you guys do take cash, correct? Sure. Perfect. All right, I need to, uh, <clears throat> I need to go ahead and show you. Are you videoing this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ah. Take a look. Take a look. Here we go. 
I'd like to make a payment on my personal property tax. Yeah, you can't video us in here. I'm not videoing y'all. Okay. I'm not videoing y'all at all. Okay, so you'll just have to take that to the cashier and she'll have to count it and put for the bills and take your payments. And where is that at? All these cashiers that are open here. I'm just a um, assistant Perfect. supervisor. So this is $1,000 in ones. Okay. We'll so I, I figured that's at least a fifth of what I owe. So okay. I want to make that payment. Okay. Yeah, we can, we'll take it. Don't you? Appreciate it. All Thank right, you. but you'll just have to put it back in your bag, get in the line, and the cashier will call you. And the, you're saying that's over there? Uh oh. Okay, she's open. Juan is open down here. Perfect. Thousand dollars and ones coming at you right now. Yeah, at least we're being pleasant about it. Hello. Hello. So that's what. Oh, okay. Oh, they don't want me filming them. <laughs> Why is this video? Oh, I need his info. Do you have your ID? Yes, ma'am. So they pulled the blind down on me. I don't need it. They're in order. So the good thing is. They're being cool about it. And uh, yeah, they accept cash. I figured that they would, so that's good. Uh, like I said, a thousand dollars in one dollar bills, that's not even a fifth of what I owe, but it's close, so. Can I ask you a question? So I owe like $5,500 in total. If I can get up to 2024, would they do a payment plan for 2024? personal property tax go towards like schools or something <laughs> so you know what's crazy is I get uh, parking tickets every single day in front of my house because my tags are expired and um, I'm kind of in a messed up situation trying to get these taxes paid to get the, the tags right Okay, perfect. Appreciate it. All right, you too. All right. I walk in with a bag full of cash and I walk out with an empty bag and a couple of receipts that crazy so I was able to get two and a piece of these things paid two and a piece not even a full three and I got a stack of them left still well I gotta be honest with you the conversation went a little bit more pleasant today with the uh, the lady that told me I forgot to tell her too. Hey, you remember when you told me that you wouldn't be in my situation because you'd have paid your taxes? Well, look at me. I'm trying to do just that. They were pleasant enough, you know. They just got a job to do. They got a job to do and, uh, you know. I tell you what's going to be the real icing on the cake is when I get another freaking parking ticket, though. That's going to just make it feel all the more special all right so uh you know mission accomplished today god how crazy would it have been if my truck didn't start well the first thing that i want to say is a very special shout out to everybody who donated on the live stream that i did yesterday it's because of you that i was able to go do this here today and i can still smell the money on my hands crazy i've never even held that sizable amount of money 
It's crazy. All right, so like I said, I was able to get two and a piece paid. I got my van paid for this year. I got my van paid for last year. And then I got a vehicle that I don't even own anymore, a partial payment on that. And I think I owe $307 more on that when that payment started out at $963 or $967, excuse me. This is no fun. I've still got a bill for 277 and we haven't even gotten to the big boy bills just yet. Uh, 1,069, 344, 1,263, and 875. Those are the outstanding personal property tax bills that I have left, plus the piece of the one that I made the partial payment on here today. Look, um, every time that I go in there to pay them, I'm gonna have to do so <laughs> in such a way. Okay, we just did $1,000 in $1 bills. They closed the curtain as I was filming it and I wasn't trying to throw the camera on them. I just wanted to showcase sliding the money across and I, I hope that I was able to capture that. I think the next payment that I make though, I'm gonna go try to purchase a clown suit. <laughs> You know, go up in that joint dressed up like Bozo the Clown because that's what I feel like having to pay these people this unbelievable amount of money. And then to ask, hey, what's the money even go towards? Oh, you know, the city. Yeah, got it. Hey, look, that's it. I hope this was a video y'all enjoyed and I'm gonna look forward to sharing more with you guys real soon. So until then, take care.